Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing fine and are taking care of yourselves. My name is Kanika Tandon and I'm here with the video of class 6th English 2nd. In our today's video we are going to do the exercise and the question answers of chapter number 10. Starting our today's video with the question answers of chapter number 10. So starting with in text questions which is on page number 132. Question is why did Angie shake her arms and legs and tug tug at her suit? So Angie took her arms and legs and tugged at her suit because she was nervous before diving into the water. She was afraid as she had never dived from so high up before. Question number 2 on page number 133. According to coach Hansen, what would uh, what would give Angie confidence? Okay, so according to Coach Hansen, Angie would get confidence from the dive itself. Turning on the page and coming on to page number 134 with the next question. What does the word longing mean? So the word longing here means a strong feeling of wanting to do something. Last is, how, uh, sorry, his voice sounded cold and hard. Do you think the coach was angry with Angie? No, the coach wasn't angry with Angie. He was behaving strictly with her actually in the process, coaxing her to dive. Now, coming on to the reference to context on page number 136, extract number 3. Let's talk about what it is you are afraid of. Coach Henson's voice went on. First question is, what was the first thing that Coach Henson suggested Angie was afraid of? So, Coach Henson suggested that Angie was afraid of diving from the height, from that height, particular height. And the height was 10 meter, right? And she had uh, dived from 3 meters only. Now, second one, Coach Henson felt that the first suggestion wasn't true. Why? So, Coach Henson felt the first suggestion wasn't true because Angie had a lot of practice in diving and could dive quite well. Next question is, what did he suggest next as the reason for Angie's fear? So, Coach Henson suggested that Angie's feared the unknown and was therefore reluctant to uh, drive, sorry, dive. Extract number four, so he is going to use that old trick on me, Angie thought. So, what was the trick? The trick, according to Angie, was Coach Henson inciting her up inciting her to jump by reminding her about her plans for the Olympics. Next, why do you think Coach Henson was using that old trick on Angie? Did it work? So Coach Henson was using the old trick because Angie was unable to bring herself to up, herself to jump. However, it did not work on her. Next, what did Angie compare that old trick with? So Angie compared the old trick to a trainer Throwing fish to seals. Extract number 5. That wasn't bad, Angie. Coach Henson said as she came out of the water. Question number 1. What was Coach Henson commenting on? So Coach Henson was commenting on Angie's first dive from 10 meter diving platform. Question number B. Question number B. Uh, what was the tone in which this coach spoke? The coach spoke in an encouraging tone. Question number C. What did he ask Angie to do next? So he asked Angie to try jumping again so that she, she, she could do better her drive. Now coming on to the read, reflect and write. Question number 6. Uh, what were Angie's fears in the story? So there were a few fears that made Angie hesitate before diving. Angie feared the height because she had never dived from a height of 10 meter before. The coach also suggested that Angie may have been hesitating because she was afraid of landing wrong. Angie feared the unknown because she had never undertaken such a dive before and therefore didn't know how to go about it. Question number 7. In your opinion, was Coach Henson a good coach? Support your answer with examples from the story. Yes, Coach Henson was a very good coach. He knew that Angie had it in her to make the dive and in order to encourage her, he used several tactics on her till she finally made the dive into the pool. First, Coach Henson tried to assuage her.
her fears and reminded reminded her of reminded her of her olympics dream coach hansen tried to reassure her about making the jump telling her that she had enough practice and hence should not fear the unknown when everything else failed coach hansen told her to give up in a disappointed tone knowing that it would spur a proud girl like angie into action question number 8 we often find ourselves in a situation similar to angie's what values and qualities do we need to inculcate in order to achieve our goals in order to achieve our goals we need to have hope courage determination practice and a lot of faith in our abilities question number 9 The story is called Fly Like an Eagle. Do you think this is a suitable title? Give reason to support your answer. So yes, it is a suitable title for two reasons. Angie was able to dive from a height of ten meter, and in matter, uh, in a manner of speaking, she was able to fly like an eagle. Metamorphically, she was able to conquer her fears and make a leap of faith. This virtually freed Angie, making her fly like an angel, like an. eagle and this answer may vary i mean you can also write it in your own way why do you think that it is a suitable um title or if you think that it is not a suitable title you can also write it it is not necessary that you should go with it that it is a suitable title if you think it is not then it is it might be not with this the question answers are over let us come on to the exercise going on to the exercise from page number 135 quick quick, quick answers Question number one: Choose the correct answer. Angie was nervous because she was diving from a three meter platform for the first time. She was diving from a ten meter platform for the first time. She was diving from a fifteen meter platform for the first time. So she was diving from a ten meter platform from for the first time. Second, Coach Hansen told Angie to go home because he he felt she wouldn't be able to dive. He knew she wouldn't uh, want to quit. he said she did not uh, need more practice so it is she knew she wouldn't want to quit and she was able to dive because she managed to overcome her fear fear she closed her eyes her coach forced her to do so so she managed to overcome her fear coming on to the next page uh, given below are some olympic sporting team events match the sports to the illustration so first is water polo so i'm going to take from the uh, pictures because that uh, because the other way it will not be easy to for you to understand so first is diving so you are going to write c o uh, sorry first is sailing so first you are going to write c over it next is gymnasium you have to write e uh, third is water polo you have to write a next is fencing you have to write b and the last one is lug okay you have to write d here Next is make sentences with the following words from the text. So these are the words from the text. You have to write the sentences on your own. So I have told you many times that you can, you can easily make sentences on your own, but those those should give some correct sense. All right. So first is echoed. Echoed means when we hear our voices back. So you can write. I went up to the hill and shouted my uh, name. It echoed uh, back. Next is dive. So I dived deep into the water when I went for scuba diving. You can write anything. Next is ripple. So next is edged, limp, cartwheel, longing. These are the sentences you can find if you don't know the meaning. You can find the meaning and then write your, the sentences on your own. Now coming on to the next page. Circle the subjects and underline the predicates. All right. So first is the athletes run every morning. The subject is the athletes. Predicate is run every morning. Next, the teacher is yelling at us. Sorry, the teacher is telling us a story. So the teacher is the subject and is telling us a story. Predicate: the students borrowed books from the library. The students is a subject borrowed the books from the library is predicate. A large gray spider is the uh, was uh, weaving a web in the doorway. So a large gray spider is the subject and rest is the predicate this old grandfather clock has been ticking for many years so this old grandfather clock is a subject and rest is the predicate now coming on to the next page 
circle the direct object and underline the indirect objects in the following sentences so i gave the newspaper to my grandfather so direct object is the newspaper circle it and indirect object is my grandfather i gave my grandfather a cup of tea so my grandfather is the direct object a cup of tea is indirect my friends made me a birthday card so my uh, so a birthday card is the direct object and me is the indirect object we paid the money to the shopkeeper so the money is the uh, direct object and to the shopkeeper means indirect object now coming on to the next page we gave the tourist a map so a map is the direct object the tourist is the indirect object the rock star performed a song for us so a song is the um, direct object and for uh, sorry and us is the indirect object grandmother knitted me a sweater a sweater is the direct object me is the indirect object the coach gave the uh, tired player some juice so some juice is the indirect object no i'm sorry some juice is the direct object and the tired players uh, is the indirect object coming on to the next page correct the spellings of the following words given below consult a dictionary if required the first one has been done for you so you have to write the correct spelling occasion the correct spelling is o double c a s i o n confidence c o n f i d e n c e independence i n d e n p e n d i i n d e p e n d e n c e calendar c a l a n d e r opportunities o double p u r t u n i t i e s information i n f o r m a t i o n in this spelling r is not given appearance a double p e a r e n c e curiosity c u r i o u s i t y environment and e n v i r o n m e n t across a c r o w s uh column c o l o l o u m n and discipline d i s c i p i l i n e so with this the exercise of the chapter is also over and uh, the your syllabus for annual term is also over i hope that you all have understood and you have completed your work and you are studying well for your examinations i'll see you all next week with the revision of of a chapter till then take care thank you